What's up guys, this is CryptoCoin Kid. Today we're gonna be talking about DeFi, but don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button to support your boy. Today I'm gonna to be talking with you guys about DeFi. So first of all, what is DeFi? It kind of feels like a black box, but no one can see what's in it. In the past, we have always used centralized finance. That is where there's a central authority that controls the flow of money, like governments or banks. The governments and banks can print as much money as they want, and they can even stop you from even having an account. All your money can be gone, just like that. DeFi or decentralized finance removes the need of this centralized force that controls the flow of money. It's mainly built on these two things, the blockchain and smart contracts. A smart contract is a piece of code on the blockchain that can be executed by you by using your wallet. You do this by creating a transaction by executing the contract to do something. So what does a smart contract even do then? Well, it depends. For example, you can create a smart contract to tell you the time if you sign the transaction with your wallet. Or you can make a smart contract to swap one token for another by making a transaction. Or even do something with your tokens like create an NFT, a non-fungible token. Or stake your crypto for a certain amount of time so you can earn interest with your crypto, like. So what you can do with a smart contract is really limited by your imagination. It's actually a very creative thing, but it works better in the financial world because all of the parameters are easier to define. For example, it would be very hard for me to make a smart contract to make the perfect hot dog and deliver it to my house. Because it is impossible to define perfect at any given time. There are just too many variables. It's kind of impossible. Mm, unless you're Costco. Hello, Costco. Can we use a smart contract? <laughs> Hello, Costco. Can we use a smart contract to get one of your big pizzas? <laughs> Hello, Costco. Can we use a smart contract to get one of your pizzas and a juicy hot dog? Thanks. The problem is, not all hot dogs are going to be the same every single time. This is one of the challenges of using smart contracts in the real world. But one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin, no matter where you go. So in the real world, it's easier to use smart contracts because it uses well-defined numbers, like amounts, time, and price. DeFi opens the door to swapping digital assets like Wall Street. But the difference is, there is no Wall Street, it's just a smart contract. Which means less counterparty risk, lower fees, more options, and overall a better experience because it's just you and the code. This is what crypto was made for. A centralized exchange like Coinbase has a limited set of cryptos that you can buy on their website because they have to listen to the government's rules. They are what you call a custodial service. They custodian your crypto. They take care of your crypto for you. They own your crypto for you. Get it? Not your keys, not your crypto. This is why decentralized exchanges like Uniswap or PancakeSwap have thousands of online currencies. And you can buy it directly, straight through their online smart contract swapping tool. This is the future of trading. And just imagine what can come next with smart contracts. NFTs, like where you can buy movie tickets or conference tickets or concert tickets. And own your digital assets and carry them wherever you want. This is the power of DeFi. So if you're ever wondering why you can't buy that one token on a centralized exchange, that is why. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on DeFi. In the next few videos, I'm going to be reviewing some DeFi products that I'm into. Take care, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.